many different things could have affected the outcome. Is it important to you to know what those are? Are you ready to move forward? Um, I, I think it's uh, it's of interest, but uh, I'm not going to lose a lot of sleep over it. Is this the end of your political career? Oh, you know, you never say never. <laughs> <laughs> for anything. One door closes, another opens, and we'll see uh, what um, where the future lies. What for sure. What is Don Iveson's biggest strengths and what is the single biggest challenge he has? Oh, uh, you know, I, it's his night and I'm not going to even go there. <laughs> How concerned are you about the number of women or perhaps even the lack of women on this next council? You know, it's unfortunate in that uh, I've been involved with a goal to have 30% representation of uh, women on city council. I'm not sure what the final results are, but it's a, a goal that's put forward by the United Nations because at that point um, there's a, a different way of looking at decisions uh, and I'm not sure what the uh, percentage is on council this time. I haven't seen what the final results are of who's gotten it. elected. Okay, so that's one, not quite 30%. No, not <laughs> no. No. No, not quite. Yeah. What was your most memorable moment of your campaign? You know, I'd say it's it's finding out all the exciting activities that are in the city of Edmonton uh, throughout the city uh, and how multicultural and diverse we are. Uh, and to me that was just fabulous, was uh, as I mentioned in my speech being welcomed to people's homes, uh, attending various events and it was just um, awesome actually. You also mentioned no regrets. No. You know, we uh, put forward a great campaign, uh, and um, as you all know, I'm a hard worker, so they, these were 16-hour days, and no regrets. No. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much.